Pro. Another thing I'd like to cover in this episode, because I think it's really important, is a little bit about roof insurance. You see, not all insurance companies are created equal, and all of them have different what drives them and what drives their business, what they will do, what they won't do. Here's what I see a lot. People don't get three bids on roof insurance. Just like I'm telling you to get three bids on the roof itself, get three bids on the roof insurance. I see people call one person or call their go-to insurance guy and the insurance guy says, we're not going to insure that roof. So they go out and put a whole new roof on because their insurance guy said, we're not going to accept this roof. When in fact, if you'd have just called two or three other roof insurance companies or other insurance companies about the roof, you would have found one that would have insured the house with the roof the way it is and saved yourself a whole new roof. So always get three bids when it comes to house insurance and take note of what the roof is costing you or what kind of uh, depreciation they're putting on your roof. And don't be surprised if just like the roofing bids vary greatly, so will the insurance bids for the house. They will vary greatly too, respectively. So get three bids always. Now, before we get to that little roof hack that I wanted you to be sure and learn to recognize when the stars and the moon line up so you can pull this hack, I want to talk to you about that like button and that share button. Please mash on those. If I'm providing some helpful information or if, if this episode or other episodes are helping you get your feet under you as far as this creative real estate investing business, then let the world know for us because there's a lot of people out there that don't even know this YouTube channel exists. And of course, if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. Now back to that tip. 